Nobody expected this. Not the analysts, not the leakers, not even the fanboys buried in teardown videos. But here we are. Huawei and Xiaomi, two giants that spent the better part of a decade trying to out-engineer, out-prize, and out-flex each other, just joined forces. On April 20, 2025, the news hit like a meteor. These two rivals aren't just collaborating, they're effectively merging minds to change how tech works across the entire stack. Not just phones, we're talking about the whole system. Smart homes, electric cars, artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, cloud services, everything. Now on the surface, this looks like a strategic move. But it's not just strategy, it's survival mixed with ambition and a healthy disrespect for the status quo. Huawei's been building its empire with Harmony OS and Kirin chips, while sidestepping US sanctions, like Neo dodging bullets in the Matrix. Meanwhile, Xiaomi's been shipping wildly popular, high-spec devices at prices that make you wonder if they forgot to carry a 1 somewhere in the pricing formula. Oh, and they casually jumped into the EV space last year with the Su-7 and started giving legacy automakers an ulcer. So what does it mean when these two companies stop competing and start co-creating? It means you're going to see tech evolve faster than regulators, rivals, and even consumers can process. This isn't just a collab where a smart bulb gets a new app. This is tectonic. It's Apple-level ecosystem thinking. Just done, with more speed, more flexibility, and arguably less ego. It started small, at least on the surface. Xiaomi's smart home app, Xiaomi Home, is now fully integrated with Huawei's Harmony OS. That sounds basic. It's not. That's the equivalent of Apple handing over HomeKit and saying, here, Google, plug it into your Pixel. Except in this case, it's Xiaomi and Huawei linking their entire device ecosystem, starting with a smart home bridge that suddenly gives Harmony OS users native control over Xiaomi's huge range of devices, bulbs, vacuums, door cams, thermostats, the whole connected candy store, all manageable from a Huawei Mate 70. No patches, no third-party apps. It's like they skipped five years of competitive tension and just decided to build the future together. But... That's just the appetizer. Behind closed doors, and increasingly out in the open, they're working on a shared vision. Joint R&D across everything from next-gen AI models to electric vehicle platforms to chip architecture. There's even word of a hybrid OS in development. A fusion of Harmony OS and Xiaomi's Hyper OS. That's wild. Harmony OS was born out of necessity, crafted under sanctions with the kind of urgency usually reserved for spacecraft systems. Hyper OS is Xiaomi's stab at creating an Android that doesn't feel like Android. Combine them, and what you get is potentially the first truly non-Western mobile operating system that could scale globally and not just survive, dominate. Now, imagine the Xiaomi 15 Ultra running that OS hybrid, powered by Huawei's Kirin 9020, paired with Leica Optics and AI software that does everything from real-time object recognition to intelligent scene rendering and maybe even emotion tracking. You know, because why not? And then imagine all of that for $500.00 instead of $1.20. Xiaomi's hardware engineering combined with Huawei's chip design and software vision is kind of terrifying, in a good way, especially if you're a competitor. Huawei's Ascend 910C chips are already powering AI models like DeepSeek's R1 models that rival GPT-level performance, but tuned for Chinese data sovereignty and domestic cloud deployment. That level of horsepower being baked into consumer-grade Xiaomi phones, tablets, and smart TVs, you're not just buying a device, you're getting a piece of a neural net in your pocket and this integration goes beyond handheld devices. The smart home angle is a sleeping giant. Harmony OS was engineered for IoT from the start. It's lightweight, scalable, and designed to create interdepartment synergy. Xiaomi, on the other hand, has built a hardware empire that spans everything from rice cookers to full-blown home security suites. The moment Harmony OS can control all of that natively, you have a fully unified smart home system that makes Apple's HomeKit and Google Home look like legacy platforms. You could literally have your Huawei phone trigger a Xiaomi air purifier when pollution spikes, auto-lock your smart doors, and queue up your EV charging based on dynamic electricity pricing, all without switching apps, all without thinking. That's what they're building. 
tech that fades into the background, anticipates your needs, and becomes infrastructure, like water or air. Only smarter. And about EVs, this is where things go full science fiction. Xiaomi's CU7 was already a disruptor, but now they're integrating Huawei's ADAS. That's Huawei's Advanced Driver Assistance Tech, the same system they've been developing with automakers like Sciasi and Dongfeng. Vision-based autonomy, AI-optimized braking and lane correction, and it's not vaporware, it's here. When you bake that into Xiaomi's EV platform, you get a car that can almost rival Tesla's FSD at half the price. A Xiaomi SU7 Ultra with self-parking, highway navigation, and intelligent voice control for under $30, zero cents. Okay? That's not a concept. That's a shot across the bow of every automaker outside of China. And then there's AI. Of course there is. Huawei's already running large-scale cloud infrastructure with Huawei Cloud. Their latest push into AI includes six major global initiatives announced in March 2025, focusing on everything from real-time language processing to predictive automation in logistics, healthcare, and consumer tech. Now picture that cloud AI pipeline fused with Xiaomi's massive user base and hardware reach. They're reportedly co-developing an AI assistant platform to rival Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant, but tuned to Chinese users with deeper privacy customization and edge computing support baked right in. It'll live in your phone, your EV, your home, possibly your fridge, and because they own both the hardware and the OS, it can react faster, learn better, and localize smarter than any assistant that needs to ping US-based servers and wait for a round trip. The implications of all this go far beyond features and specs. This is a geopolitical pivot. China's tech sector is being forced to innovate under pressure, and this is the result. Collaboration, scale, and the pursuit of technological independence. Huawei and Xiaomi, by working together, are reducing China's dependency on U.S. tech infrastructure, while also creating products that are globally competitive. And they're getting help. Government subsidies for electronics in China are expanding in 2025. Manufacturing is scaling. Domestic chip fabs are catching up. If this momentum holds, by 2026, you could see Chinese-designed smartphones, EVs, smart homes, and AI platforms not just leading in China, but capturing serious market share in Southeast Asia, Europe, Africa, and eventually the U.S. if trade walls don't hold. For consumers, this means more power, lower prices, and fewer trade-offs. For competitors, it's an existential challenge. Apple's market share in China fell 18.2% in Q4 of 2024. Samsung's getting squeezed from the top and the bottom. Xiaomi's premiumization strategy is working. And Huawei's back in the game with a vengeance. Together, they're not just building products, they're reshaping the map. The world should pay attention. Because this isn't just a product cycle. This is a rewrite of the playbook. A Xiaomi Huawei phone that runs better, costs less, and talks to your home in your car? That's not science fiction. That's next year. So, what's next? Will this partnership really stick? Will they take on Apple and Google and win? Or is this just a short-term alliance forged by sanctions and market forces? Whatever your take, drop it in the comments, argue it out, or pitch your wildest predictions. And hey, if you made it this far, you clearly like thinking a few steps ahead. So smash that like, share this with your most brilliant tech-savvy friend, and hit subscribe. This train is only just leaving the station.